Alright fellas, welcome back. I wasn't going to upload a video this week because um, I'm a little bit strapped for time but I thought I'd do a little quick job um, on the Cooper S and also I just wanted to kind of mention as well um, I've just hit 3,000 subscribers as well on YouTube which is just absolutely insane. Um, I just want to say a massive thank you to you know everyone who subscribes, watches the videos, comments and gives advice and stuff. I really do appreciate it um, and honestly without you guys watching I wouldn't even upload videos. Um, I know when I initially first started saying I'm going to do YouTube I said if I get 500 subscribers and you know a video gets you know 100 200 views it'd be worth my time doing it and the fact I'm getting sort of near 10 times that um, I know the last video I put up on the Cooper S has had thousands of views um, so yeah it's really good to know that you guys are watching it and enjoying it as well so and it also gives me the motivation to get out here and do little jobs as well so job I'm doing on the Cooper S today um, is I have ordered some period correct number plates so I ordered these some classic registration plates online uh, ordered them a couple of weeks ago, they take a little bit of time because I believe they're handmade as well so I don't know if you can see, I'll show you in a bit uh, with some shots is the raised digit letters and the kind of pushed in and the kind of held back in place with like a, a retaining sort of clip so I've ordered two of those, um, I am going to be getting rid of the stick on number plate on the front of the car as well and replacing it with one of these this for me is a road car, it's not a race car so I want it to kind of look a little bit more like a road car as opposed to a race car the roundels are staying, I know a couple of people have asked me whether they're staying or going and you should keep them, you should get rid of them. Personally I think they look pretty cool and also what really is cool about those numbers as well is that's my mum and dad's birth year as well which is 65 um, which was another deciding point when I eventually decided to buy the car, I was like that's cool, um, it's my mum and dad's birth year so yeah that was a deciding factor why I bought the car as well so those are staying. Right that's enough waffle, um, let's get these plates on and see how it uh, and see how it looks. Right, so that's that off. There is a little bit of glue, um, but I'll get rid of that with a bit of tar and glue remover. Um, I should have some on the on the shelf over there. So I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to get these plates on. Um, so I've got my drill, a few other bits and bobs. Bought myself some new drill bits, which are over there. Um, so right, let's get them on. how long it'll be until I lose them.
Okay, so that's on and situated in place. I've not fully fixed it, um, obviously because it's going to be coming back off, but you can see there where the tape has pulled the paint off, which I am majorly, majorly pissed off with that. Um, I'm not going to lie, but yeah, I'll have, a, I'll have a chat with Classic Plates Online. If not, I'll just take the digits out, get that section powder coated satin black, and I'll put the digits back in. So it's not the end of the world, but something like that I shouldn't have had to do, but never mind. Right, okay, so that's that on. Um, a little bit disappointed um, because the tape that I've used has actually pulled the paint off of the plate. So I don't know what it is with these manufacturers. I don't know why they just don't do stuff properly. So that's clearly not been prepped properly. So I'm going to get in touch with Classic Plates Online, tell them about it. Um, and if not, I'll just take the digits out and just go and get the back of it powder coated um, myself. But. <sighs> Actually, no job I do on my minutes goes right first time. I always have to do it like three times, four times before I actually get it right. But yeah, let me know if you think I'm out of order. But I don't think when you put a piece of tape on a painted product, it should pull paint off. But I don't know. Right, that one's on. Um, so what I'll do is we'll get on, a, get cracking with the back one. I need a bigger garage. This will be getting powder coated at a later stage, um, but I'm just going to try get the reg plate on, get it all drilled, and then once it's all been drilled, I can get it all powder coated, and then that will be will be spot on. So that's the reason why I'm fitting the plates first before I get it powder coated, so then it's all nice and sealed rather than drilling a fresh hole in powder coat. So I'm going to get these bits off and uh, get the plate on. super super happy with that um oh just in case i want to ask the reason i went for silver as opposed to white is i tested a reg plate off the van on the cooper s now because this is old english white and those letters are white i didn't quite like the contrast so i decided to go decided to go silver with them um because it kind of it kind of works well but if i take a take a step back or a wheel back before you pick me up mates yeah that looks absolutely spot on that as you can see as well, I've cleaned that up um, as well. I used a little bit of, I'll show you what I use for that actually. It's really, really good. I used a bit of auto finesse, obliterate. Um, basically, I just sprayed it on and it literally just takes all the glue off. Um, you can still see my dirty hand prints. Um, I didn't really want to go too mad because I've not, like I said, I've not even washed this car yet. Um, so I just thought I'd get a bit of, I'll get that sticky stuff off. Yeah, it's a real, real shame about that front plate. But like I say, I'll speak to, um, the reg plate company and see what they can see what they can do um, and hopefully they'll be able to sort it out for me right so that's it super super happy with them plates yeah absolutely got in about that yeah like i said i'll speak to them um i don't think i'm going to get anywhere with them to be honest with you um, because i've now drilled two holes in it but yeah if anyone is doing them in the future like i say i ain't a professional um it might be my mistake, but for me, that shouldn't shouldn't peel off. If someone's prepped something right, it shouldn't come off, but you never know. So, like I say, back one's on, all set. Um, took the glue off the front, and like I say, all I need to do is just, when I eventually get that plate sorted out, I'll get that one. Get that one either replaced, or I'll get it powder coated and sprayed up and stuff. And also, when, if I do end up getting that powder coated, I can send the, the back piece off as well, get that powder coated up. There's a couple of other bits as well on the car, um, which I want to do, but I'm not going to go into too much of that because I'll save that for another video. So I've also ordered a few bits as well for the engine, which should be turning up very, very soon. So I should have some more content on that as well. Like I say, I just want to say again, um, thanks very much again for the subscribers and stuff. A couple of people um, have asked me 
on Instagram if I'm going to start doing merch. Now, this is never something I've actually thought about um, because I never actually thought the channel would get to 3,000 subscribers. Um, but if anyone's got any suggestions for stuff, drop it in the comment section and let me know. Um, because like I say, I'm not, I've not thought about it. I don't know what, what to do. Um, and if people do want something, um, I can speak with a couple of people and you know I'll just get stuff done at whatever it costs me. Um, it'll cost you guys. Uh, that's if I start doing stuff anyway. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions, please do get in the comment section. Um, I do like hearing from you. Um, and if you have got any advice, let me know. Um, and I shall see you in the next one. Take care, guys.